Hello and welcome back to Hackathon Entertainment TV. I'm Mr. Hackathon and I bring you a story behind every hack. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is learn how to use Airtable interface to create an interface for our Airtable data. Just to show you an example, what I have done, I actually have to log in again. What I have done is I have created an interface for approving tweets. So I use this kind of, uh, in my database, I have tweets or, or draft tweets and an image and a status. And this is for senior leadership to approve a tweet. If I'm in a social media agency or some kind of environment where I need approval before the tweet goes out. So this interface is a very, very easy way for teams to interact with the data rather than interacting with the data directly in the Airtable database. So we are going to remake this and to show you how to do it. Before we remake it, here's a quick introduction to Airtable. If you ever use Google Sheets, if you ever use Microsoft Excel or anything similar, Airtable is very, very similar. Airtable is extremely hot right now and extremely easy to use. It allows you to automate data flows. It allows you to create data, create formulas and store your information extremely easy and extremely cost, cost efficiently. So just take a look, look in there, everything, archive everything. Makes it really easy to achieve your business goals. What we're actually going to do to create the interface is use Airtable's new or newish feature, the Airtable interface designer. So this allows you to visualize your raw data in the Airtable base and make it very, very easy for stakeholders to interact with. As you can see, I, interface is ideal for stakeholders. You need to review and approve assets for leaders and cross-functional teams and collaborators. So we're going to get started. What you actually need to do, and this starts for me to log in again. What you need to do is to create an Airtable base so once you log in, you will see a dashboard like this and you need to add a base. We're going to name our base something like a tweet approval. I'm going to add some fields. So I'm going to change this to the tweet field. I'm going to change this to image and I'm going to change status to pending not approved and approved what we want to do is to start by adding some data and I'm just going to say hello, no code, one, hello, no code, two, three, and four and what i want to do is add these as penned in what i want to do next is to add an image so i'm just going to do web search 
I'm going to type in something like C. So I'm just going to add this image. I'm going to copy this image. And so we have our initial base and data ready to create an interface. To create an interface, what we want to do is click interfaces right here in the top left corner. And it gives me this kind of landing page for Airtable interfaces. I want to say, hey, start building. I'm going to say tweet approval. It's going to call it tweet approval. And it gives me a couple layout, layout options. So it, it allows a record review to review all the records at once. Dashboard, this is more level for summaries and charts, a record summary, which provides a detailed overview of an individual record. And you can start blank too. So what we're going to do is start with record review. And we only have one table. So we're going to use this table. You can also filter here at the beginning as you connect your table, but we're not going to do that. You can choose what columns or what fields you want to actually display. We're going to display, we only have three fields, so it's okay. We're going to display everything. And I'm going to call it tweet approval. As you can see, if I just close this, as you can see, what we get immediately is our data on the left where we can actually search everything's the same same name so we can actually search certain entries we can filter if we want to filter we can sort so let's say i want to sort by status which is probably not the best way to sort, but let's just say I want to sort by say status. What you can also see is an image here, which is the image that we had. We can see the tweet here and we can see the status here. If we had more data, what we will be able to do is actually show more data here and add those fields and add elements. So I might add the text element just above the status. And I am going to say, this is my, I'm going to say, approve, spell, approve tweets. Yeah. I'll change it to a medium heading. And what I might actually want to do is I might want to click here and what I want to do is have this record as an edit editable record. So now the my manager can actually click this. They will be able to change the approval or the status of the tweet from pending to approved or not approved. What we're also going to do, if I can find it, we are also going to add some comments. So we created a comment section for our managers to actually add comments to this so we can make improvements before it gets approved. What we also want to do is we want to publish this so the updates are are published and readily available. So we're going to click publish changes. Now everything's been published. And this is now ready to use. So you can either share the URL or you can click share and share with individuals 
in your organization. So what you'll be able to see now, now we're not in edit mode. This is, this is what we've published. You can change this to approve, not approve. So we just change this approve. We can make comments. As you can see, this change to approve. And if we actually go back to our database somewhere, if we can actually go back. You can see it in our database is changed to approved. So that is how you use the interface de interface designer. Getting tongue tied. That's how you use interface designer with Airtable to actually visualize your data and make it more accessible to people within your organization to interact with. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please let me, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm, and happy hacking.